Hello and welcome to Norwood Digest. I'm your host, Jack McCarthy, and we are happy to bring Norwood's news magazine show. Um, joining me this time is Francesca Golightly from Norwood Impact, or Impact Norwood, excuse me. And she's here with the youth group, the youth coalition members. And recently, you guys had the pleasure of uh, visiting our nation's capital and for a conference. And so, Francesca, why don't you set it up and then they can tell us uh, what, they've done, what they did down there. Yeah, excellent. So uh, through Impact Norwood funding, we're funded through Drug Free Communities. There's the opportunity for our youth ambassadors and staff to go to Washington, D.C. to attend the CADCA uh, National Leadership Forum. And so CADCA stands for Community Anti-Drug Coalitions of America. And so this is an annual four-day conference in D.C. And so this year we were really lucky to bring four youth ambassadors with us so that they can attend the Youth Leadership Initiative. Uh, and so with me tonight I have Heather, who's um, at Norwood High School, Amaya and Joanne, who are at Coakley Middle School. Okay, well, let's start with uh, the elder statesman yeah. over there, our sophomore from So Heather. Well, you know, tell us about the conference in general, and then it, it, we'll talk about some of the specific things. Yeah, so at CADCA, um, you know, youth and adults from all across the country got to come and um, stay, and they had different sessions each day focusing on, you know, different topics. They would, there were some focusing on, like, substance use prevention. There were some focusing on mental health others working on you know, better ways to help um, build the community and address problems within the community. So there was a really wide variety of people and perspectives and opportunities to learn there. Okay, and I'm gonna give you this question, but don't answer it now, because I want you to think about it. What's like the number one thing you came back with, okay? So tell us about some of the sessions first. Me? Amara, yeah. Um, well, some of the sessions, um, I went to one about um, compassion fatigue and it talked about like um, being somewhat overwhelmed by emotions right yeah Things like that yeah that's a that's an expression I've never heard before compassion fatigue yeah I think uh, sometimes I think it's a new topic sort of uh, we hear it sometimes in public health to just say when you're working in a field that you know you're kind of community based you're focused on helping others succeed and you know for our from our perspective we're trying to prevent youth substance use and so I think the compassion fatigue uh, comes in a bit when you're feeling like uh, you're always trying to do more and, and provide more and then um, getting a little burnt out. So how, how many days was the uh, was the trip conference? Four I think. Yeah. It was, and four. was it jam-packed like from eight yeah. o'clock in the morning till like five o'clock in the afternoon i think we woke up at six thirty. yeah yeah it was a long day for our students and was there any time for fun and games uh, there was a lot of times um we went on the ferris wheel and it was i remember me heather amaya and adam maris and we were just like looking outside because it was like really dark and we could see all the lights and it was just amazing it was like a wonderful moment did you get to visit some of like the Washington Monument yeah. or the Jefferson Memorial? We oh. actually went, um, so Aubrey, another <laughs> person, so we, um, she like, um, we went on electrical scooters and we went biking. They didn't go, <laughs> because they but I did yeah. and um, Joanne did. So yes. you're the daredevil? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, she is the daredevil of the group. Yeah, so on one of the days of the conference, they invite all coalitions to meet with their state reps. So our students had an opportunity to meet with Senator Ed Markey to discuss some of the work we do here in Norwood, uh, but there was also coalitions from other parts of Massachusetts. A group from Easton was there. Uh, and so the students got to talk to him about some of the work that, that they do. And then so after our session with the senator, we were able to see, uh, you know, we walked through the National Mall and saw the monuments. Uh, we saw some famous actors while we were walking through, so. Did, did you get into the Smithsonian at all, any of those? Not enough time for the museums. Well, you, you could spend a week plus just totally. doing the Smithsonian. So. <laughs> yeah. But if you, if you go back, you gotta go see that. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. uh, and there's a, um, what do you call it, Holocaust uh, thing at the Smithsonian, which is, it'll just blow you away. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yep. All right, so, so the, um, let's, let's talk about what's the number one thing you brought back with you? And I don't mean a tchotchke. <laughs> <laughs> 
Heather, yeah, you want to go first? Um, so one of the sessions I went to was about um, building, or it was called like leveling up communities, and it focused on what's called the strategic prevention framework, which is a series of steps. It's sort of like the scientific method where um, like you find an issue in your community and then you figure out you know what steps you need to take to solve that community, and that was um, really impactful for me, and I hope that we'll be able to um, use that more fully as we continue coming up with projects to help our community with an impact Norwood. Um, well, I went to one of the sessions called I'm um, Good Bra, and it focused on mental health and peer pressuring, and I really got to like to know that more and how it really works and like we got to um, act out like a person like peer pressuring some someone into vaping and I think that like really impacted me with the mental health and peer pressuring. Very good. Um, for me I also went to the iGoodBra conference and one of the things um, the speaker said was sometimes it's not the person it's the environment and it really like stuck home to like, you know, just brought it back home. And I just realized it's always what if you change yourself, but sometimes you have to look at the bigger picture and realize it's not the person, it's the environment they grew up in or just the environment they are in. And so as in Pac Nord, we're trying to make our community a better place so that, you know, everyone can just be happy. And like, you know, I know that not every day everyone's gonna be happy, but just bring the light to the community. Yeah, because life gets in the way of that sometimes. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Blake. <laughs> so what's, uh, what's coming up with for you guys? What kind of projects are you working on for the community? Um, currently, we're working on starting a mental health um, PSA so that we can address, um, specifically like addressing stigma, you know, helping educate the community on, you know, what mental health stigma is, and then hopefully being able to reduce that and making it um, easier to recognize that mental health is health, it is a problem in our community, and it is okay to seek help for me mental health issues. What, what are you guys working on? Anything different, or is it all, are you all working on well, the same stuff? Yeah I, yeah. yeah, I would say one other important thing that we haven't mentioned yet, so something new to Impact Norwood, we actually hired two students within our, our youth, uh, youth Ambassador Coalition to be youth leaders, and so Heather will be one of them. There's another student, Shelby, who will help lead some of our youth ambassador meetings moving forward and so they'll get the opportunity to really make a coalition that is youth led. Because they're in the school they get the opportunity to see things that Aubrey and I don't see from town hall perspective. And so they'll bring some of that, those ideas, opinions, thoughts, some ideas for projects, things that we can combat together uh, to really make our group feel like it's youth led. So how long have you guys been youth coalition members? Um, I joined at the beginning of last year, so this is this is my second year of being an Impact Norwood. Mm -hmm. I think I did a year and a half, or yeah. Yep. I'm pretty sure. I think maybe about the same. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you were talking to your classmates or, or or any other, you know, people of your age, what would you tell them? How would you what, what would you say? Why it would be a good idea for them to do it? What do you get out of it? Anyone just jump in. Um, I'm asking tough questions. I, yeah. um, I would tell them, you know, Impact Norwood is um, a drug awareness group um, and also focusing on um, mental health as well. So there are um, issues with substance use and substance misuse within our community. And, you know, my classmates know that. I know that. We all, you know, see it. Um, in our day-to-day -day lives, not necessarily like all the time, but we know it's an issue. And I know a lot of people at my school, like they don't want those things to happen, but they don't know what to do about it. So, you know, having Impact Norwood is a way to be able to um, address that and be able to do something about it when usually it seems like we can't do anything. Yeah, I think um, what Heather said, like um, me and my friends talk a lot about, because um, I see all the time people like, vaping in the bathroom or something. So we talk about it, but we can't really like, what are we gonna tell them? So um, I would say probably that Impact Nor would like, if you join, we can like really digest it and like talk about it more. Mm -hmm. I feel like Impact Nor gives you the tools to go and talk to your friends about this type of issue, and especially the friends that you do know that do vape and like, you know, that just hit close to home because you know them and you don't want them to be, you know, doing that. So I feel like 
being a part of Impact Nord, I know how to use my voice for the better, and I know how to like address these situations much more better than I did a year and a half ago. So I always, when I interview people, I always ask them this question. I said, All right, I, well, I forget what, how I do it to those people, so I just ask <laughs> them. So now, bring yourself back to the first day you walked into a, a Impact Norwood. Um, I, yeah, okay, I always want to say it the other way, I don't know why. <laughs> the first day you walked into Impact Norwood, you, had, you probably had an idea, or maybe you had no idea what you were going to get into. So what was the biggest surprise? Um, so I joined Impact Norwood because my older sister was in M Impact Norwood and I knew that she enjoyed it a lot and she was getting a lot out of it. So I went in and I'm like, okay, well I'm just, you know, sort of following in my <laughs> older sister's footsteps, you know, like I'll, I'll kind of be in the shadows a little bit, but at Impact Norwood, really everybody's voice gets to be heard. Everybody has different opportunities to um, step up and be part of all the projects that we get to do. Yeah, I think, um, well, I joined because, um, well, my friends told me it was a good opportunity. It was when Margot was still mm -hmm. part of this. And um, so when I came, it was like surprising because um, everybody was so like, like invested in this. And like, um, we do these type of like um, topics in our school, but no, like some people are not paying attention and stuff like that. So I was surprised that everybody was so into it. I feel like I went. It's tough going there, another question. <laughs> 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 because like, I feel like they take all the good ideas. Yeah, that's yes. what I mean. <laughs> but um, I feel like I went to Impact Norwood thinking, oh, it's a club that my principal talked about. But the moment I like, you know, joined the Zoom call, I realized how invested everyone was for Impact Norwood. And I also realized how invested they were in this topic. And it really did inspire me to try my hardest to help other people and it really did give me the tools for that and we have amazing conversations because like in school they like just rub on the surface mm -hmm. of these topics but with Impact Norwood we go deep into it and how we can help the community. Great, you guys are awesome by the way. I just yeah, to know. we have a good group. Yeah, and the, the thing that strikes me, I mean there's been drug awareness mm -hmm. groups for a long time. But yeah. The mental health aspect of it, I think, is so important because we all we all have issues, right? We all need help sometimes, and to to have people not be afraid or uh, not uh, fear of what people will think of them that it's somehow it's a weakness or, or whatever because it's not. It's just you know it's it's life, and people are wired differently. And and well, you guys explain it. Um, yeah, I'll start us off and then maybe I'll kick it to one of you guys. So because the uh, Norwood Health Department received mental health awareness training funding in September, it's given us uh, a substantial opportunity to really bring this to the forefront for the community. And so with that funding, we're hoping to train town of Norwood employees, school district teachers, nurses, and primary care physicians in the community in mental health first aid, which really is just a way to say uh, that people know how to handle situations where someone may be experiencing a mental health uh, illness or disorder, how to respond and then how to give people some techniques and tips to, uh, so, so that they can respond appropriately. And so we're m starting to work on a campaign to reduce the stigma associated with mental health and um, we're working with our youth ambassadors to do this. Um, so mental, like, I, I like the topic of mental health because um, I've like I've talked to people that have done like these like bad things and um, a lot of them say that um, it's because of like um, peer pressure or they're just like so overwhelmed with things at um, school and just like everything so they do it to lessen the stress and um, like yeah it's just a good topic to learn about and how like mental health affects people and why they like start doing these things. Well, I thank you all for investing your time in this because it's, it's certainly worthwhile and you're helping people. And a lot of times you don't even know you're helping people. You know, you, a kind word, a smile w will help somebody, you know, in the end. You'll never know, mm -hmm. but I guarantee you, you're making a difference. So I appreciate that and I appreciate you all. And I can see why they hired you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you guys are a lot younger, what, three years younger? So yeah. that's what, you, that, that's your, uh, 
mentor, right? Exactly. Yeah. A good role model. Yeah, yeah that's the word I was looking for. Yes. All right. So we've got a uh, the, uh, Impact Norwood PSA. So let's take that and then we'll be back with our good friend. With, with, we're uh, Skyping in Brian Dunn. I don't know if you guys know Brian, but he used to work here. He's uh, an awesome guy and we'll be with him, but not before we see this Impact Norwood public service announcement.